All right, Shalom, Mike. This is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakah Kodash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, which are the top biblical teachers on the planet Earth today. I want to give greetings, blessing, and much love to the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that are pushing the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risking their lives to do so in efforts of waking up the hope for the elect of the Negro, I mean, of the nation of Israel, Salakia, uh, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America and those that go back to the lineage that are scattered abroad, Shalom. Okay, um, and this lesson pretty much is going to be entitled uh, the, blood, the Bloody Devil, okay? The bloody devil, okay? And what, what it's inspired by is just like you see here on the screen, a list of atrocities by U.S. authorities, okay? Now, when we say U.S. or United States, okay, uh, we're, that is speaking about the hammer of the earth, okay? Or the, 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 the so-called white man, okay, who is Esau Edom in the scriptures. That is, um, that, that's pretty much his hammer, okay? What he used to uh, uh, go around and, 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 you know, just flexing his muscles on the rest of the on, on the rest of the earth. OK. Um, but uh, basically what it what was what, what is uh, going into it, like it says, the list of atrocities committed by the U.S. authorities. OK. And, and, and just to put it in perspective, this is only dealing with the kingdom, this kingdom. OK. Or Salakia, this new Roman Empire. This is not dealing with the ancient Roman Empire or um, the ancient Greco-Roman Empire, okay? This is speaking of uh, specifically uh, the United States as, as, it, um, as it regards being a civilized country, man, or established country, okay? Hey, and it, this, this uh, you know, we, we know, you know, we, we, we toil and labor in this thing and we understand how wicked Okay, Esau, Edom have been since their inception, man. Okay, and and, and and things have only gotten worse. And you know what what draw what uh, brings it all together is that it's documented, it's well documented in the scriptures. Okay, but this just connects the dots, which is a a, a part of making this thing playing upon tables, man. Connecting the dots and showing, look. The proof is in the pudding. The things that the so-called white man has committed in the earth, they are documented, man. Okay? Um, and I guess uh, what this person did, because this is a GitHub, a, a article on GitHub, and I basically just typed in a list of atrocities committed by the U.S. government or U.S. authorities or the United States. And this this popped up, and I guess it was an essay by a certain student, you know? And, um, yo, this, this is major, okay? Um... Okay, like it says here, definition, an extremely wicked or cruel act, typically, uh, and I guess it's going into the definition of atrocity, one involving physical violence or injury, okay? And then here you have the contents, it goes into imperialism, and the imperialism being played out where? In the Middle East, Western Hemisphere, Africa, Asia, Europe, okay? And then go to internal repression. And this is what I found majorly uh, interesting, okay? It says um, internal repression. Okay, meaning who the, the people that is repressing internally within its own nation. Okay, but the, yet and still, you know, being double minded like the so called white man is, you, you go and attack other countries for doing the same thing to their people. Okay, repressing them, well, claiming that you're attacking them to free their people when you're repressing their own people in your own, in, in your own, un, I mean, within your own walls. Okay, so it says uh, internal repression, and look at the top three Native Americans black people and latinos okay you see and that's what i found most interesting and then you know hey and this is very extensive brother so and it's a, it's a good read so i you know i uh through the spirit i'll put the uh, link in the description box okay and they, and they break it down perfectly okay and it goes in like we read in the contents imperialism then it goes into the middle east and it says on april 14 2018 the u.s uk and france launched 100 more missiles at three different targets in syria again again claiming that the syrian government used chemical attacks against its own citizens and uh and do and do my as justification okay and this i mean look man i'm just gonna do a quick scroll down okay 
a quick scroll down. And that's all these are still under the acts of imperialism, okay, in the Middle East. Okay, going all the way to 1948, 1949. Okay, let's just randomly read one, okay? It says in 1900 in China, the U.S. was part of the of an eight-nation alliance that brought 20,000 armed troops to China to defeat the Imperial Chinese Army in the Boxer Rebellion and anti-imperialism uprising, okay? In, 18, in 1899, after a popular revolution in the Philippines to oust the Spanish imperialists, the U.S. invaded and began the Philippine-American War, okay? The U.S. military commit, uh, committed countless atrocities Having 200,000 Filipinos dead, Jacob H. Smith killed between uh, 2,500 to 50,000 civilians. His orders included kill everyone over the age of 10 and make the island a howling wilderness. Okay? <laughs> and look, here we go in Europe. It says from March to June of 1999, after Serbs refused to uh, acquiesce in the breakup of of their republic, the U.S. and NATO began bombing Yugoslavia, killing 500 civilians, leaving thousands homeless, destroying bridges, industrial plants, uh, public buildings, private businesses, as well as barracks and military installations, okay? So, hey, the point is, man, this, this, hey, this devil, his track record is documented, okay? These are back sources, okay? It's, look, it says Native Americans. In 2016, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers approved the Energy Transfer Partners proposal to build an oil pipeline near the Standing Rock Indian uh, Reservation, okay? Let's let's scroll down. Let's, let's, let's go down. Let's see how intricate this thing gets, okay? On February, no. Hmm, let's see. I want to dig a little deeper. Um, man, and we know through the spirit and of course, because the scriptures say so that hey, the, the, the atrocities committed to the Native American or the people indigenous to this land, uh, innumerable, man. It says started in 1967, the Black Panther Party. Oh, okay, this is probably this is going into the blacks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and we know about the atrocities committed to to uh, the black race. But the point is, bro, hey, bro, this is a great, great read, man. You know, it's something just to skim through because it's, it's very extensive, man. But the point is, man, it, let me get back to the point. List of atrocities committed by U.S. authorities, man. Okay. And like I said, it's very, very extensive, man. And, and that's what that's what's happening, man. That's what's happening right now. The Heavenly Father is lifting up the skirt of the so-called white man, and he's using the prophets to do it, okay? He's using the weak things of the earth to confound the mighty, okay? And you go into that word confound, it's basically saying, uh, going into uh, making a shame, okay? We're shaming America, man. The, hey, guys that, you know, you know, are getting their daily bread for the most part, you know? Just making it by, okay? But bringing out... The, all the atrocities that this so-called white man has committed in the earth, man. And there's nothing he can do about it, okay? But, like, hey, hey, and, and you feel it, you know, through the spirit and also with what's being said, you know, black um, identity extremists, okay? That's Esau pulling some shit out of thin air, okay? To have a reason to come ride on us, man, which we already knew was going to happen and it's documented in the scriptures, Okay? But that's what he doesn't understand. We're 10 steps ahead of him on every angle. Why? Because the Heavenly Father has filled us with his spirit, man, through his son, man. Okay? And that's what it boils down to. And, 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 hey, at the end of the night, man, this devil is shaking in his boots, man. Okay? He's proud. He's not going to admit it. Okay? But reality is reality, man. Okay? So let me grab some precepts, man, to edify, man. This is the bloody devil, man. Look at this, man. He can just... You just click on let, let's uh matter of fact let me click on um hmm and not that it matters but you know africa let's look at these heathens man uh in 1998 the u.s bombed al shifa pharmaceutical factory in sudan killing one employee and wounding 11 it was the largest pharmaceutical factory in car in cartoon producing medicine both for human and veterinary use the U.S. had acted on false evidence of a VX Nerva agent 
from a single soil sample and later used a false witness to cover the attack. Okay? You see, it's documented, man. We can go on and on. We could this whole lesson could be simply about, you know, just breaking down these different atrocities, man. But hey, enough hours in a day, man. Okay. And this really brings into perspective and shows you, man, why this devil has to be taken out, man. We don't know, we don't know one one millionth of the atrocity this devil has committed, man. You know, you learn stuff new. You learn new stuff when you watch different brothers. They bringing out things that you would have never fathomed, man. You know? Like, I'm recently finding out about leather skin, man. The, the nigga skin purses and bags, bro. Man. <sighs> Boy, we need justice. That's what it is. We, we want justice, man, for what's been done. Okay? It, it makes no sense. Okay, that this man could just do what he does, okay? And everybody be oblivious to it, man. It's a shame. But somebody has to stand up for that standard, man, okay? And that's what we're doing. We're standing up to set that standard to be the vanguard of the Heavenly Father. This is Psalms chapter uh, Psalm chapter 59, verse 2. It says, um, Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, okay? Who are the workers of iniquity, man? Okay, here on earth. Now, are there workers of iniquity amongst our people? Of course they are, okay? But as the king's heart is, so are the the, the, uh, the, the people, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So, and, and that's why Yahweh Shah said what he said in St. John 8 and 44. Ye of your father the devil, and the lust thereof you will do, man. The proof is in the pudding, man, okay? But this here is speaking about uh, uh, Esau so-called white man and his power structure okay uh psalms 59 and 2 it says deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from the bloody men okay and that's our cry man that's our war cry right now man okay and that's why these devils are bugging out because there's no there's no tangible way to uh uh, uh to, to come after us man because hey hey you devils you know made that a part of your uh, constitution for a uh, first amendment right Okay, even though you don't acknowledge it or only use it when it's, it's convenient for your people, okay, but we utilize that man, okay, and just like Paul, you know, when it was time, you know, it's certain times when it was he was up for persecution or being judged, you know, and he said, Hey, use it to his benefit. Hey, I'm a citizen, man, I'm a Roman citizen, you know, but that hey, we know that's through the spirit of power. You how about Shimia was shot, man, okay. It says, uh, deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie and wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, not for my sin. Oh, Yahweh. Okay. Uh, verse four, they run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me and behold. Okay. And that's how I cry, man. That's how I cry. And why? Because, hey, <laughs> the atrocities. The atrocities committed by the U.S. U.S. authorities, man, and this is like I say, it's extensive, man. Okay, that's why we're asking the Lord to save us from the bloody men, because we know what He's all about, man. Why? Because we it's it's all in the scriptures. Okay, um, you know the precept. This and stay in the Book of Psalms. This is Psalms chapter uh, Psalm chapter five. I saw that for it. it says, For thou art not a power that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Okay. And hey, hey, you know, let, let's be let's be honest. This is the most wickedest times of all. Okay. And the average person would tell you that. Okay. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And it's 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 uh it's mind boggling, okay? To the point where if you don't have your head stuck in these scriptures, you're gonna be lost in the sauce, man. You know. Trying to figure a way to uh to 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 keep enduring in this hellhole, man. Okay, or trying to flourish in this hellhole when it's the most wickedest it's ever been. Okay, and just okay, say you don't want to believe in the Most High. So just say you don't want to believe in the High, Most High, but nature itself, okay, the nature of how men think, uh, uh, uh always shows you that look, wickedness never prevails. As evil as the so-called white man is in all of his movies, okay. There's a there's a uh, uh, an antagonist or protagonist 
Okay, and there's a hero, man. Okay, now that's what we're facing here in this civilization. There needs to be a hero that, that, that needs to come.